Your instructions tell you to use a disposable serological pipette. They look like this. You have some in your, in your standard issue cabinet already. Need to open the package. Try not to touch anything. They are sterile. Use a pipette bowl. Don't jam this on too tightly. Just secure. And now I can pull up some of this solution using my pipette. I'm trying to transfer that bacterial solution into a centrifuge tube. These are polycarbonate. I'm using a beaker to support the tube. I've created a vacuum here. I pull up liquid in the pipette using the up arrow on the pipetter until I get to the zero. That's 10 milliliters. So now I'm delivering using the down arrow on the pipette bulb, delivering my 10 milliliters. What I'm working with here is actually mock broth. There's no bacteria in here. Yours will be cloudy from the bacterial growth. So if that's 10 milliliters, I'm going back to get another 10. I'm getting my second 10. Vacuum here. You can see the indentation. Up arrow. And as I push on that up arrow, the liquid comes up the pipette. I can make it go very slowly so I can get right on the line where I want to be. And now to deliver, I press the down arrow right here and we can see the liquid dispensed from the pipette. So your instructions ask you to make two, two centrifuge tubes. 20 mils of broth will look like that in your centrifuge tube. So two tubes like this. As an energy centrifuge, I need to balance. So in this case, the best way to balance is with mass. I zeroed out my beaker. I can weigh this centrifuge tube with its contents. This one has mass 32.24 grams. Here's my second tube, 32.34 grams. So I can add just a couple drops of water to this tube to make it equal that mass. This is the centrifuge we'll be using. It's a marathon centrifuge. It has a control panel here, and inside there's this rotor. Always need tubes opposite each other. So there I've got my balance tubes opposite each other. The rotor has a lid, and it has a big lid for the entire machine. So now I'll set the conditions for the spin. Time, five minutes, speed, 10,000 RPMs. I could set a temperature, it's a refrigerated centrifuge. Uh, in this case, there's not any need for it to be refrigerated. Press the start button. Lid not closed. Try again. So here you can see the speed increasing, timer is counting down. If I did have bacterial cells, they would be plastered to the bottom of the tube by the end of this time. Had this pipette actually touched bacteria, I need to disinfect it. So here's my 10% bleach solution, and I just pipette bleach into the pipette and out of the pipette. And this should kill all the bacteria in the pipette. So I can just throw this pipette into the trash now. Centrifuge has finished its spin. It's slowing down. The beep 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 says I can open it. I need to press this button here. The stop slash lid. Press it again while pulling on the lid. I can remove my tubes. So here's a sample that has bacterial cells pelleted at the bottom of the centrifuge tube. So there will be a designated waste beaker on the buffet table for you to pour out your broth. I'm pouring off the supernatant. 
you can see the bacterial pellet stays put. Now I'm resuspending the cells in 30 millimolar tris buffer pH 8.0. So the purpose of this buffer is to wash away traces of the Luria broth. So here's my milliliter. I can vortex this. I vortex at a pretty high speed. And I observe there's still some pellet. That looks pretty good. I've pre weighed these Eppendorf tubes and I'm transferring the cells to the tubes with a pasture pipette. Best to get everything in one pipette. These Eppendorf tubes have a maximum capacity of 1.5 milliliters. So we're putting in maybe 1.1 or 1.2 if you include the volume of the cells. At the end I'll disinfect this pipette with my bleach solution. So here are my tubes ready to spin. I need to weigh them first, make sure they're balanced before I put them in the micro centrifuge. And that's a different video for you to watch. The centrifuge tubes I'll rinse with my 10% bleach solution to disinfect those.